So it's the 4th of February and I'm finally getting around to doing a seedling progress video. I normally like to do those every month anyway. I'll probably do another one uh, towards the end of February because there's so much happening in February. And obviously I do a lot of seedling starting in December and January. And it'll be interesting, I think, just to see how healthy those seedlings actually are. And I'll probably start with the peppers because the peppers are looking really lovely. These are the ones that I started back in December. And this year I've used a fertilizer that was recommended to me. And I'll put the details up so you can see that. And the results have been really nice. The quality of the leaves is noticeably better than it was last year. And the main thing I've noticed this year is there's a lot of side shoot development on the plants already and um, that's really nice to see so they, they're nice and compact plants and they're going to be nice and bushy and obviously i'm only doing my first uh, third of the peppers uh, in december and the ones that i started in january they only need little seedlings now but they're still coming on nicely and i don't want them to be very big because i don't have enough space to do all of my peppers early and then also the early batches of uh, spinach, they're doing nicely. They've been in the ground since December and they're growing all nicely now and they'll probably be harvested in about a week's time just for the first harvest of baby leaves that will go into the salad mixes. And there's a couple of successions of those there. And obviously we've still got all the spinach that we're currently harvesting, but these are just the ones that we've not started harvesting yet. And the early lettuces as well, the ones that we planted out in December, they're looking really nice as well. Um, they've grown on, you know, really quite noticeably in the last couple of weeks. And I should think we'll be eating those by the time we get to March. So I'm in the polytunnel and obviously we've got a lot of stuff growing in here. I just wanted to show you what we've got on the grow bench. So we've got the early kales. These are the ones that I'm going to plant uh, after I finish one of my spinach beds in March and they will give us a nice early harvest in kind of late April, May time and I've got another tray of those back at home which I won't bother to show you. I've got some early sprouts and I've also got some more early sprouts and various brassicas in the little greenhouse which I'll just show you now and they're a little bit further on so this should give me a bit of a successional harvest of early sprouts and you know, I'm aiming really for harvesting those in July and August, or they'll be harvesting the leaves from May. I've got my early red cabbages, but of course I've got loads <laughs> of much bigger red cabbages as well, so I'll have a little bit of a succession. And I'm just doing sort of two or three red cabbages a week. And then we've got some early cauliflowers and just actually planted out early cauliflowers and early calabrese as well so this is the next succession to go in and i've started some new cauliflowers as well they're growing on quite nicely and i've just started planting out my first batch of beetroot these are the ones we'll start eating in may but we'll eat them all the way through uh, summer uh, they grow really big, but they're still just as sweet and tender when they're big as they are when they're small. It's kind of a myth, I think, that uh, young beetroot get woody. They probably do if you leave them over winter, but they certainly don't if you're eating them in summer. And then we've got tough ball and leela. These are sort of early onions. Got quite a lot of onions outside. I'll just show you one little bed of them. Uh, and they're doing quite nicely and I've got salad onions here and got loads of salad onions and again I'll show you another bed of some of the mature ones and then I've got more salad onions here and more salad onions here and just keep on going really with salad onions and I've just started sowing my uh, main crop onions and shallots and you know i won't be planting those out until sort of the about the 10th of april i kind of aim for and my first few leeks just for eating in summer and uh just started my early main crop leeks and i'll be doing my main crop leeks a bit later on in march 
and my second succession of broad beans. Katsoi in the polythal is coming to an end. It's just starting to show signs that it's going to go to seed. So I've got new tatsoi that I've started off. I've got lots of uh, little lettuces. These are just a few that I had left over that I popped into hanging baskets. But I've got two trays that are planted out and uh, they will replace the ones that I've got currently in the polytunnel. And you can see probably there's a few little gaps here where I've filled them in with new lettuces where I lost plants to stem rot. So I know that sometimes these uh, videos can be a little bit overwhelming so if you want to kind of go and take a look at your own pace and all the details then take a look down below at my uh, ebook for the link for my ebook and there you'll find two sets of information that are particularly useful. So the first one is the basic section of my ebook and that goes through all the basics of gardening. So how to plan, how to sow, how to plant, you know, how to harvest, all of those sorts of things. And um, yeah, that is basically a kind of starter guide to gardening. And then you also find lots of other advanced topics which I won't talk about today in the rest of the ebook. But if you want to know more about the kind of day-to-day -day kind of practicalities of gardening, then you want to look at my sort of personal diary record effectively of what I do. And you'll find that in the reference information section of the ebook. And there there's data for the last two years, uh, kind of month by month kind of data. And yeah, so you can take a look at previous years if um, obviously I got data for those months of this year because we're only up to February. If you want to look at a particular month, then let's just take a look at January of this year. And in there you'll find loads and loads of information. So you kind of get like an overview of the month and what to sow and what to plant and all of that kind of information. But then you'll find, you know, information, lots of additional videos, loads of information on what I've sown in each uh, of each month and what I've planted in each month with all the details on the varieties and the quantities and the sowing dates and the planting dates and all of that sort of information as well as where I'm germinating things, where I'm planting things um, and all of that. And yeah, I'm just loads of information basically. So hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel and I'll see you soon.